It's just another chemical attack and another blame game with the warring sides accusing each other of being the culprit. The gassing reportedly took place in the Duma area in eastern Ghouta and killed dozens of people, including women and children. Syria's Western adversaries, most particularly the US, have sided with the narrative of anti-Syria groups which usually blame such incidents on the government of President Bashar al-Assad. But some observers say Syria does not need to launch any chemical attacks, as it already has the upper hand and it's in control of nearly 90% of eastern Ghouta. Syria denies the claim that Syrian government forces carried out any gas attack. Damascus has described the accusations as a fabrication and an unconvincing broken record. We have a saying here, and I'm sure every culture does, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. And now we're, be we're being trying, they're trying to fool us for what, a dozen times now. Obviously, the only reason to believe that the claims of the terrorists that this was the Syrian government and army launching a chemical weapons attack against them in Duma, uh, you would have to suspend all logic and reason for this to make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. The Syrian army has made fantastic gains with their allies. Syria has been repeatedly accused of carrying out chemical attacks since 2013, when the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons destroyed its arsenal. It came following a deadly gas attack which was blamed by the US and its allies on Syria. Iran has hinted that the latest incident is a false flag operation to serve as a pretext against Damascus. This is while Russia believes that the gas attack in the Duma area is part of a conspiracy to pave the way for an invasion of Syria. We firmly deny this information and express our readiness to send the Russian experts in the radiation, chemical and biological protection immediately after Duma's liberation from militants to collect information which will prove that these claims are fabricated. After the latest gassing in Syria, the US president took to Twitter and used a harsh statement in which he made a thinly veiled threat of military action against Syria, calling President Bashar al-Assad an animal. Donald Trump also blamed his Russian peer Vladimir Putin for the attack. President Trump can reset the table here. To me, I would destroy Assad's air force. I would create safe zones in Syria where people can come back to their country from the surrounding area uh, and, and live a better life, train up Syrians to take on Assad so we can negotiate in Geneva from a position of strength. If it becomes a tweet without meaning, then he's hurt himself in North Korea. If he doesn't follow through and live up to that tweet, he's going to look weak in the eyes of uh, Russia and Iran. So this is defining moment, Mr. President. You need to follow through with that tweet, show a resolve that Obama never did. This has been the practice since the conflict began in Syria in 2011. Assad has been consistently painted as the boogeyman while his enemies, namely the numerous armed groups, as innocent, at least when it comes to the use of toxic gas. The militants have been repeatedly accused of having chemical agents by neutral observers, but such assertions have faced a media blackout. They've been ignoring the facts of this conflict throughout the war, so this is no surprise that they're ignoring the reality in this case. The Syrian government has discovered chemical weapon making uh, facilities in parts of eastern Ghouta. They found uh, chlorine gas supplies that were manufactured by Germany in uh, some of these liberated areas. So clearly the, the, these so-called rebels, the terrorists, have access uh, to chlorine, certainly. They were using chlorine repeatedly in eastern Aleppo.